Hello everyone, I am privileged to be here with Nick Katinsky. He is the commissioner of the first inaugural Sin City Spiel. And we thought we'd uh, give you a little video preview today of why you need to sign up and be a part of this fantastic bond spiel that's going to be taking place in Las Vegas, October 28th through 30th. Nick, why did you start uh, to organize such an event? Halloween weekend, and uh, it's, uh, first of all, ice availability in Las Vegas. Um, it's a little break for hockey right there on that weekend. And uh, why not Vegas? Vegas is the capital of entertainment, and we thought we'll bring some curling to the capital of entertainment. So um, it's a very accessible city. I think from all over U.S. and Canada, you can reach this destination, and um, I, I thought that there hasn't been anything there's last curling tournament in Vegas. The one and only was about 20, 20 years ago, so I thought it'd be a good chance to uh, put a new spiel up there and have it uh, as an annual thing. Nick, you you have a role, a prominent role with Mopac, and you kind of oversee that area for starting out new curling clubs. Has Vegas been one of the locations that has expressed interest, and is this a means to help them start a club? Um, Las Vegas uh, expressed um, curling interest right after the Olympics, and there was a handful of people that uh, had never curled and. Uh, Desperately wanted to start curling. I did invite them to come out to another Mopac club and try it out hand before they even started this venture. Um, apparently, they um, did not take on that offer. So after a couple of months of back and forth, I offered them to come out and do an open house. So we went last August in 2010 and did an open house in Las Vegas, and we got about 79 people show up brand new curlers, and uh, it was fantastic. So uh, I left behind a couple of stones and, and brooms and sliders, and they did have two more uh, smaller learner curls, but um, it didn't take off. I think it also had to do with uh, people who didn't have any curling experience and to get that uh, bit going very much. So with this uh, bond spill, we will uh, actually feature another open house for the local public. And uh, this time around, I think we will actually kickstart the club and get that going in Las Vegas. So there will be another destination on the map in the U.S. for a new curling club and also another club for Mopac. And uh, I think this uh, Sin City Spiel will be a good start of uh, good entertainment for curling in, in our nation. And also it's kind of the beginning of the curling season for many clubs in September, October. So it'll be a good, good kind of a tournament to get a good feeling on your start of the curling season and have some fun as well. Nick, is there anything that you'd like to, to tell us about the Las Vegas Ice Center? You have been there, and and what will we see? Is it, is there good ice? Is there a nice place for view for you know the audience to sit and watch? Or tell us a little bit about that facility. The Las Vegas Ice Center is located about 15 minutes west of the uh, Sunset Strip, um, uh, no, no, <laughs> Las Vegas Strip, I should say. So, uh, uh, 15 minutes away from uh, from major entertainment, um, there's uh, two ice rinks in there, NHL size. They're uh, extremely well maintained. Uh, it's it's a really good owner, easy to work with. The the, the rink manager has been very extremely helpful and wanted this to get going. Uh, he definitely doesn't have any curling experience, but. Uh, been extremely, extremely helpful with this. So we, um, what happened was we booked the margarita mix for 2012 in that facility, which will be happening uh, about the same time next year. And um, kind of from that, the ordeal there, we, we kind of said like, well, why don't we do an annual uh, bond spill in Las Vegas? So, so uh, this is the first annual, which is happening with Sin City Bond Spill for um, October 2011. And um, not only a good facility, they have good equipment, they have good staff, um, very helpful. And uh, they already have two sheets painted permanently on one of the rinks for curling. And they also already have purchased a couple sets of hacks. And uh, they really uh, wanted to get curling going there in Las Vegas. Um, talk to them a little bit. You've told me about it, but there's a fantastic bar that's attached to it where people can sit and view the ice. They can fully see the ice from sitting inside this restaurant bar. Yeah, the bar is called Brooksy's. It's uh, attached next to the um, uh, the North Rink, and it has windows 
towards into the rink behind the goalie, if you say so. Um, it's uh, a great sports bar with a great attitude, and they're partnering up with us for this bonds bill and actually catering and hosting us for our um, tournament there. And um, we've been extremely happy to partner up with the Brooksies. So then this is really a great opportunity for a curler to bring a non-curling spouse or partner that they can certainly enjoy themselves while they're, they're not sitting in a cold stands to, to watch curling. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I think the capacity for, for Brooks is, is about 120 people and there's a bar tables. I mean, there's even a, a um, well, what is it called? A uh, shuffleboard oh, uh, great. in there. So we, we, we're going to utilize that as well, maybe do a little shuffleboard tournament as we're going. Um, for, if we get larger crowds, there is bleachers at the arena that probably can seat another 300 people. So we have capacity for visitors in, um, in every demand to, to get them seated there. And um, if you're really into sports and you, know, you need, really need to work out, there is a, a little, little uh, sports section with a weightlifting room and, and the exercise room next door that we can utilize as well. So we pretty much have uh, half of the rink is ours, including the bar, for this tournament. I think uh, it's going to be a great venture uh, with both facilities next door. You know, sometimes when we do bond spiels on arena ice, we don't know what the ice conditions will be. Um, what are you doing to make sure that the conditions are the best that they can be? Well, uh, first of all, they are extremely good on maintaining their ice, uh, really high quality. They host a lot of hockey tournaments there all the time, but that doesn't say that it's good curling for ice. Um, um, the ice is good for curling, I should say. But... Um, uh, I have been there sporadically every time I go to Vegas and visit it, and, and it looks really pristine. And um, what we are going to do is we're going to come in a week before and paint all the uh, sheets, and uh, we're going to be flooding all week beforehand. We're also having an ice team coming from Utah, which is Tim Irish and his crew, which have been uh, helping out on a lot of bond spill um, on the West Coast. So they are actually, I would say, experts in arena uh, curling preparation for uh, tournaments. And they've been getting lots of kudos for uh, all the tournaments that we've had in the, all over the uh, West Coast. Fantastic. So um, is there, I understand you've been putting together a plane with the schedule. What will curlers expect when they arrive there? Will it be curling all night long? How is, how is that looking? Um, we, we try to get as many teams as possible in here to this tournament. We know that uh, it's going to be uh, a tournament that everybody wants to come to. So we've decided to um, take in 48 teams in about 48 hours, almost straight through, uh, for an um, you know, opening ceremony, drop to the button contest, and also an open house for the local curlers in Las Vegas. So we're going to have great uh, curlers right there that can assist in helping us on, on having this open house. And we will also have a rent, rent a broom program as well that will be later donated to the uh, startup club in Las Vegas. Um, and um, what else? No, that's you've covered it. Thank thought. you so very much. Um, so you've started. We you've put up a website. Do, will more information be coming? And what are some key dates that everyone out there needs to know about associated with this bond spiel? Registration starts July 5th, and we anticipate um, a lot of people are going to be registering pretty fast. So if you really want to uh, get a spot in this bonds bill, I uh, recommend that you jump on this pretty fast. Um, all the uh, bonds bills here on the West Coast have been sold out uh, months in advance, so we anticipate the same um, kind of interest in this bonds bill, even though it's the first annual. Um, other key dates will be uh, pretty much follow the site. We will be unrevealing the entertainment. Of course, we're going to have Elvis Presley around. It's a great icon from Las Vegas. We will do feature this uh, bond spill to be a Las Vegas style entertainment. So we will be bringing in uh, all kinds of Vegas style flavor to this whole bond spill. So there's more to expect uh, as we go. Uh, we're still in planning stages on a couple of the entertainment pieces, but um, this will be a bond spill that you will never forget if you attend. So, and we're trying to, and eventually, you know, we're probably going to be expanding this bonds bill as, as we go with the years. 
Will this be more of a fun spiel and sort of should they wear costumes or is it a very serious tournament? Uh, this is not a serious tournament, but we will do have, uh, you know, players coming from Canada back east. We have a couple of um, people from the U.S. Olympic team that are coming down with uh, with some other uh, members. And so there'll be some competitive curling for sure. Uh, but it is the weekend before Halloween and we will have a costume uh, uh party and we will do gift prizes for costumes so definitely uh it will be uh, a more of a fun spiel than 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 more uh, cash spiel if you say so if you compare them, both of them well nick i've enjoyed getting this update about sin city spiel and if i can i'd like to revisit with you in a couple weeks again to find out information about hotels and maybe perhaps more information about the registration and how that is going and other uh, situations you're going to add a lot of a social media layers to this tournament we can talk about that so uh, if someone has a question right now is there an email address that they can use yeah you can visit us on the www you can visit us on the website sincityspiel.com, city spelled with an S, and uh, you can also send us an uh, email at info at sincityspiel, spelled with an S, of course, dot com. Um, let me rephrase one. You can contact us by sending us an email at info at sincityspiel.com, city spelled with an S, so it's three S's in Sin City. Um, and then we have uh, also our website, which is uh, sincityspiel.com, that you can visit for more updates as we go. So, um, And I'd like to add, you can follow us on uh, Facebook and Twitter. And with that, we'd like to say good curling. We'll see you in Vegas. Bye-bye.